Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. Just support me, just hit the subscribe button. And if you like it, just make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, tell another friend and join my family because this is the best reaction channel, right? So today I'm going to react to It's Woven. I love that name. I, I really find it so uh, original, you know? So I don't know why... Uh, she chose that, but so there must be a story behind it. I would love uh, to hear the story about, you know, around this name. So if you watch my video, so please make sure you share uh, the reason as to why you chose it. Because for me, it's woven. It means it's a process. It's a lot. It's a bit more poetic from my point of view. That's how I will look at it. But I love it. So we're going to react to it's woven's video. So we spent the day with the world's oldest race. Okay, so I, so there's what am I? So to give a spring book as as what i don't know we'll see later but yeah so welcome and let's get straight to this video <laughs> so i recognize steven so that is what am i is uh partner i mean they they work together. He's the one who does the beautiful drawn shorts. And yes, I, I you know, um, the, the, she says they're the world's oldest race. Okay, I didn't know, but I remember. You remember? Was it out of Africa? Um, was it no, not out of Africa? What was the name of the film? The Gods Must Be Crazy. I mean, if you have watched The Gods Must Be Crazy, let me know in the comment section below. But that film was crazy very funny uh but a beautiful film so he makes me i mean he reminds me of that film <laughs> africa is beautiful africa is blessed africa is majestic africa is life wow Look at this image right here. You, wow. <laughs> Let's just say, wow. Riding on a donkey, cool life, no stress, no pressure, none of that. So fantastic. <laughs> Hi, Wode. Yo, did you see how she jumped out of the pickup? Look at that. Did you see? Yo, wow, she's gangsta. I love it. I love it. On, we, on, and she has slippers on. She has some flip flops on. Fantastic. Okay, so now we have to visit the Bushmen. The Bushmen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All In right. Here. Yes, they are in the village, okay. but they are a bit of a drive. How long is it going to take for us to get there? <laughs> After the directions I've been giving you, I don't know how long I'm going to say. Maybe 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. 15 minutes? Yeah, so my... I, mean, I think which is closer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. We have to go in the car, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's not very far from where you live, right? Is this your home? Yeah, in the car. You see how yeah. the village looks like? Exactly. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> Yo, I told you she's gangsta. I love it. You see how she's holding the camera and she just like get it in like nothing. You know, it's just normal. Wow, this is lovely. <laughs> I love Whoa. it. Oh, uh, vlogging and moving <laughs> behind the car at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Come, come, come. It's come woman here and I am with Wada Maya. I am Maya. The one and only. <laughs> so, we are going, yeah, on our way to the Bushman's no, village. village. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys know that the Bushmen are the oldest living? Continue. In, o oldest living descendant of what? Southern Africa. Really? Okay. Yes. I didn't know that. I'm yeah. so sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Yeah, so they still exist. Yeah, and so if you haven't watched the video I did about, you know, where what Amaya uh, was talking about, Namibia being the, the most underrated country in Africa, make sure you check that one out as well. 
Uh, and you will understand that Namibia and South Africa have a huge history together uh, and South Africa had to help Namibia, you know, j right just before they gained independence. And that's why you will find South Africa and Namibia, they're just brothers and sisters. They have the same, I feel they have the same accent when they're speaking in English, same culture in a way as well. So I'm not surprised that the Bushmen of South Africa are in Namibia. Yes. So they were the first to settle in Southern Africa. Oh, yeah. I'll actually, let me give you a bit of the history. That would be awesome. All right. So the Sun tribe has been living in Southern Africa for at least 30,000 years. And they're believed to be not only the oldest African tribe, but quite possibly the world's most ancient race. The Sun have the most diverse and distinct DNA than any other indigenous African group. Oh, wow. So they're called the Sun tribe, the Bushmen. Fantastic. Yeah, then, mm. yeah, we'll go. You guys must enjoy this video. We'll take you along. Make sure you subscribe. Be part of her family. Like I've always been saying, be an ashao on YouTube. <laughs> what does that mean, be an ashao? Is that English? Be an ashao? Okay, what does it mean? Let me know in the comment section below what that means. <laughs> oh, you don't understand that one. Yeah. Ashao! You know ashao, what does ashao mean? Hey, what does ashao mean? Ashao? Yeah, what does Isn't it a derogatory term? Yeah, but what does it mean? I cannot say it on YouTube. No, it's okay. It's a, so it's like, it's like being an ashao on YouTube, yeah? You know, women that do ashao, when you go there, you have to what? Pay and enjoy. And they accept everyone. Oh, are you talking about the prostitutes? So, okay. What does it have to do with... Or when it comes to subscribing, do you want to say that you know, when you go, when someone goes for a service from these women, they pay them. But then on YouTube, be in the shower on YouTube, does it mean that it's free? Um, then then you can subscribe to any any content creator with whom you collaborate. So maybe that's how I would get it. So let's hear. Uh -huh. Small, big, medium, they still are set. So if I tell a subscriber to be on a show, if you are subscribed to Wadamaya, it's okay. To also subscribe to what? Uh -huh. Ah, sharing is caring. Okay, so I was right. Uh, thank <laughs> you. And don't forget that when you go there, you have to pay for it. Here, you don't pay. Uh -huh. oh, be okay. a free Asha on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> be a free Asha on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and support her. Yeah? Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, please make sure you subscribe as well. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's by force. They know it. That's a mom, eh? Yeah. 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 Stop any, stop any, stop any. Stop any. I think you have a point on that. Where are they taking the car? Eh, they are going to be sold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. We saw with. Ooh, we can see what the man's booty is. Keto? That's also part of your family. Oh, the one we saw over there. Yes, this wow. one. Yeah. Wow. dancing at this point and there is no music it's okay but it means that the music is copyrighted and I had to change it okay so don't worry okay so wow, there are so many donkeys there wow we use donkeys as a form of transport that's how now what oh so they are going to Angola they are going to collect a certain... Right, yes. Namibia borders Botswana, South Africa to the south, uh, Angola, Zambia, a little bit of Zimbabwe, I guess. Um, yeah, so, all right. So they're just right at the border. Fruit. With those carry bags on the donkey. That mm -hmm. fruit, we use it to brew moonshine. The Kia vodka. Okay. We use it to brew that and then moonshine. we sell it. Yeah. Anyway. Let me know if you'd like me to react to the moonshine video. Let me know in the comment section below because I, ha I, have, I don't have no idea what that is exactly. Oh, no, just get out like this. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
okay. I'm not sure. I think Wodemeyer doesn't know how he's going to to jump off the truck. Am I right? He's not worried about her. <laughs> He's like, oh my goodness, what will I do? How do I get off the track, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, so we are here. Okay. This is the Bushman village. The Bushman village. Yes, the same people. <laughs> the oldest inhabitants of Southern Africa. They are the oldest inhabitants of Southern Africa. It's only Southern Africa or the entire world. The oldest tribe. I actually, the same people I read on the internet. Yeah. It's okay. the oldest tribe in, yeah. But we just fact check, we link it. Okay, so I need to confirm is the Sun tribe the oldest tribe in the entire world or just in Africa? But my guess would be in the entire world. So that people can yeah. yeah. But they are definitely one of the oldest inhabitants of Africa. Okay. Yeah. And they have lived like this all the days of their lives. They just love to live in the bush. Yep. Even if you take them outside, they still don't want. They still don't want. I know like that side of Congo, the government has built some houses for them. You know, to just um, bring yeah. them out of the bush. Mm -hmm. said no. A few months, they left, they abandoned the houses. Wow. They went back to the bush. Yeah. yeah. So it must be really deep into their blood, their roots. That's where they prefer being, you know. Um, in the bush, that's where their heart beats and that's where they feel comfortable. Oh, they are what? Hunter-gatherers. Oh, they, they, they feed on... Ah, they hunt. They hunt for it. Yeah. Mm. Like here they said, some springbok, some rabbit tree side. They hunt. Sometimes they chase until they catch. Okay. Sometimes they shoot with the arrows. Yeah. Let's go meet them. Oh, meet them. Oh, them. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's hear that again. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Let's go meet them. Oh, meet them. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about you and. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the woman in here. Eh? <laughs> oh this is a gift for them. Yes. Hey, I'm the woman. Hey! Hey, no! <laughs> Maya. Is Maya afraid of heights? I think he, you must be afraid of heights because it's not too high. But I would personally be afraid to jump like that if I was in sleepers, just in case I sprain my ankle or something. But I think Maya is afraid of heights. Let me know. I'm the woman in here. Okay. Thank so, you. So, we go bearing gifts. Let's go. Wow. So, is this a real village? Wow. We want to know what you're saying. They are reacting to a drone. <laughs> Mikasa Sukasa, let's go into the house. Wow. That's very small. wondering is this where they sleep is that where they spend i mean that's their home actually so i'm just curious to know uh and do they move so from one place to another do they stay in the same place all year round so let me know in the comment section below if you know and uh that will be interesting to find out Oh, so there, did she say there is no mattress? What did she say? Yeah, I think that's what she said. There is no mattress. So, um, so do they sleep on the on the sand like that, or do they put grass? I'm so curious to know the life and if you know of a video where we know more about the bushmen or the sun tribe let me know in the comment section below drop the link in the comment section below i would love to learn more about them so she does a bit of um bead work mm. but she's been lazy this day. i don't know <laughs> 
So please cry with me a lot. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's terrible. Do you know it happened to me? Uh, was it two days ago? It was so frustrating. I filmed, uh, I did a reaction video. And then when I checked, I talked for maybe more than half an hour in the air. It didn't record anything. So I was so frustrated. So I understand 100%. Sometimes I can film something. The sound is not good. So I always check. Um, I always check each time that I it's filming, that the sound is on, but it can happen. Accidents do happen. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm so sorry that you lost some footage here. Sorry. Um, okay, so they are just at the next village. They've moved from here. They've gone to the next village. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to see how the men look like. And the funny thing is the Bushmen, even from the Gods Must Be Crazy, they are light-skinned. And I think they must have a very interesting history to the Sun Tribe. I didn't know they were the Sun Tribe, first of all, so I'm very happy to have watched this video and to learn something new. And, um, and they are light-skinned. That's really interesting, you know? Uh, all of them, all of them, all of them, the same type, uh, short, you can, they're very, uh, they're very slim. Uh, so yeah, it would, it's interesting. So let me know if I can watch a video in particular. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay that, so this is the father of my namesake. <laughs> this one here. <laughs> I don't see anybody. <laughs> you will see now. Yeah, but fun fact, what did Maya actually fit in? He fit in, but I think it wasn't comfortable crawling inside, you know? This one here. <laughs> I don't see anybody. <laughs> you will see now. Oh! Oh, okay. Wow. Eh. What I know about I would say personally from what I the, the little really 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 um, the little that I know about the Sun tribe so the Bushmen that's how I used to know them um, is they all have the same traits you know they're they're African right but they're light-skinned African and we're not talking about North Africa but also, they have very uh, specific traits, specific body type, and so on. And I, I've learned in this video that they still love living in the bush. So I would like to know if you know anybody from the Sun Tribe who's like um, in, the, in, this, in, the, in the modern world, you know. There must be some. But if you know, let me know in the comment section below um, if you know a majority of them who still prefer living in the bush mm, unique. What is unique? Like, like what makes them so special, special from others yeah i think like what makes them so special right. from okay. others and let me know what's the what's the what's the language she's speaking uh let me know could it be I don't know. What, let me know. Let me not say anything <laughs> because I have no idea the different um, dialects that you may have in Namibia. So are they talking one of the common maybe Namibian dialects or are they talking uh, the Bushman's dialect from South Africa? Let me in the comment section below.
right now. I wish I knew what they were saying. Their daughter, she looks like, yeah, looks like their daughter. Forest, a springboard, bring it to your mother in law. If she's satisfied, she'll be given. <laughs> she'll no, be given no money. No. So, a springboard, what is a springboard? Okay, so is it like a type of a nantolop? What's that? Let me check. What is a spring book? I'm checking live with you guys because I have no idea what that is. So, let's check together. Okay. All right. All right. It's a type of a gazelle. I don't know if you can see. It's a type of a gazelle. Uh, so, that's a spring book. So, that's the dowry part. Okay. Nice to know. <coughs> okay, but now it's different. Now it's a bit relaxed. You can give money, but they don't. Do, do, do you have another daughter? <laughs> so, she has six children. This one oh. that is not married. Oh no no no! We now want to be Yeah, either way, you must 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 bring bring the spring boy. But yeah, she has six children in that body. She's so small still, you know. She doesn't. Wow, that's fantastic. Anyway, what am I? If you want one of the ladies, then you must bring the spring boy. No shortcut. So you must have the springbok. I guess it's it's a cultural thing, traditional thing, just like you know, dowry in any other part. So mm. <laughs> tell me no more springbok, I'll come back. So just a quick 
question the spring book is it for meat is it for sale uh I mean, let me know. Is it for the skin and then they make something with the skin? Let me know in the comment section below why the spring book is very important to the Bushmen. It's by force to show love to its woven city you channel. Do me a favor. You know how we do it. How many subscribers do you have now? I have 15,000 subscribers. So oh. you know how we do it. It's 20,000 as soon as I upload the video. Thank you. Be on our show on YouTube. Oh yeah, there are two people filming. So Wadimaya is filming his part. She's filming her part. So it's a, you know, it's it's a video in a video. But yeah, it's fantastic. So guys, please make sure you do the same. Subscribe, okay? If you love what I'm doing, kindly subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. It's your favorite boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here in. Hawanga <laughs> village. Hawanga village. Ondongilo constituency. Hey, Ondongilo constituency. <laughs> I'll see you in Vinduk. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
we came to Noef. <laughs> we came to Noef and Gobe. So we, yeah. the animals need to drink water, and this is the process that we are going to do now. The animals, Our goats are here, and the cattle are far behind them. Okay. So we stopped over at the cooker shop's location for some refreshments. Okay, so this makes sense in the beginning. We can see over the mire. Is it like a local beverage uh, with a, a little bit of alcohol, and that's why he was dancing all the way? section below if this is um, a video that it's woven did and I would love to react to it because looks like she's the one my goodness let me know and I will be so happy to react to it guys and I really enjoyed this one nice to meet you it's woven and I will check out more of your videos uh, and thank you so much for bringing such beautiful contact to us because I loved it loved it loved it loved it and it was nice to show our brother Wodemeyer around in the media. I'm sure he had a great time, awesome time. So if you enjoyed my reaction, please make sure you subscribe. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and bye.